Hi guys, it's Gid here once again, and today we're doing another build of the week, and we're in the medieval fishing village of Arran, and we're right here on the deck that I just fell off on the dock, sorry. Um, back on, and we'll look to the right and we can see this ship here. It's quite a good ship, I like it. Um, I mean, there's not a lot you can do when you work in smaller sizes like this rather than the bigger ones, but what has been done is nice. It's, I like it a lot. I'm a fan of the little sort of sail design going on. I might have to use that. But ship-wise, this is what I'm interested in. This teeny tiny little ship here. Absolutely love it. Just because it's so tiny. Look at it. Um, yeah. I think I like this a lot, I like the sail and everything. Uh, I'll probably do something, if not pretty much this, on my medieval build, very similar to have them dotted around the place. Obviously the credit goes to the people that did this. But anyway, let's go up here and we can walk up. I'm such a fan of like this sort of wall here, like sort of layered town villages. I want to do one of them at some point on my channel and I will do. But anyway, we can come up here and we can see right here where, who it's by. It's the fishing village of Aran, made by Gable, Gabble and 09 Edwards J. And then in here, you've got yourself a sword and some cooked pork chops. The buildings themselves are amazing. I love them. That's all that matters. No one else's opinion. Only mine. But, um... Yeah, I don't normally build like this. It's, I've seen this sort of style by Madness64, how he does these corners and everything. Um, and I quite sort of like this layered terrace sort of thing going on. Um, I definitely want to try that, but probably will save it for another village. I might do some of it in the one I'm doing at the moment, but who knows. And it's got a really nice sort of like hand cart design here that... I'm also very interested in sort of replicating and editing to put in mine, in my village. Anyway, enough about what I'm going to shamelessly steal. Onto the interiors of these places because they're actually quite good. Interiors are something that's often neglected. I'm very guilty of that. I used to do interiors all the time and I don't anymore. But that was back when I used to make a building based on the interior and then I'd neglect the outside or the exterior. They've managed to make both aspects look really good and I just love the fact how the building can start on one layer down here and then like be on a different layer up here. For instance here. This is the built this is the bottom layer here, but actually no bad example. This is the bottom layer here and it dips down here. So it's hard to explain but I love how a building's not on a completely flat plane and it's spread over different varying heights and contours. Give ourselves some light. We go in here we can see... ooh, what's this place? I don't know where I am now. Is this just another house? Um, possibly. This is strange. I'm going to get out quick. Ooh. But over here it looks like we've got a blacksmith and this little outside bit here is phenomenal so well done and these interiors they're making they're almost making me want to start doing interiors again just because I miss it because they're so nice I mean um, that's like a fishing net I think it's quite nice how it sort of it blocks off that way I love doing things like that um, I did it in my Roman city a lot but anyway if we go into another house we can see more crazy interiors. Uh, I really want to get back into interiors after seeing these because they're just awesome. And out the door again, shut it behind you obviously. Um, there's some fishing places here, all very nicely done. Another really cool little boat. Um, that's basically the village here. We've got this tower over here which you can't really get inside of. Um, this gate here, I've knocked it down and gone up that ladder. It only takes you to about this sort of level, um, as you can see because there's not really any space inside. But still, it's a very cool looking tower and I wish my towers would always look that good. 
often they turn out rubbish. But all of this is like they're all normal buildings, really, really well done, like this one especially. Look at that. Um, but it all leads around here, and you run up the stairs, and it leads to the top of this hill on this island of this village, which is where the church is, which would make sense because churches were held in very high esteem back in the old days, old medieval times. Go upstairs, look down over everything and then obviously you come in here and we've got the pews where you'd sit and then right here got a nice enchantment table where the guy can stand and you can read out the sermons to people a bit blocked off by these pillars but they do give a nice effect anyway this has been one of def probably my most favorite build i've seen in a long time uh and it's small uh, that's what I like about it. You don't have to make a crazily huge city for it to be nice. I love this. But this has been the fishing village of Aran. I've been Gidda, and until next time, goodbye.